We're joined now by incoming president Doug Tuga. Doug, thanks so much for taking the time today. Oh, it's my pleasure. I know you have a busy, busy schedule, but um, tell me about your career up until this point. What led you to becoming the incoming president? Well, I've been at Valparaiso University for the past 27 years. I, I was the, an assistant professor, then department chair of electrical and computer engineering for 15 years, and now I'm the dean of engineering at Valpo. But during that same time, I've also been working my way through ASWE. I've, I've had leadership positions both in the section and in the zone, and then I, I went through the, the, the list of officers for two different divisions, then became the vice president of finance for four years, and now I'm the president-elect. So for people that come here, you know, future attendees, what can they expect to see in the next couple of years? You know, I, I think that every year the conference seems to be growing. I think uh, this year we have the, the most, most papers we've ever had. I think it's great to have a vibrant set of papers that no matter what your interest in engineering education is, there's going to be a paper here that you're really, really excited to see. I think we also have a, a growing exhibition hall. Uh, we have 102 exhibitors this year, and it's really exciting to see the, the number of, of people who are coming here because they want to show us uh, solutions to help us to teach our classes better. And how is AC going to work to strengthen its relationship with a lot of these outside organizations? Yeah, so so those relationships with those vendors is one of those ways. I think that uh, having more than a hundred companies come here to talk to our talk to our members and try to show them ways that they can teach their classes better is one. I also think though that there are a lot of other organizations that share our passion for engineering education. Uh, organizations like ABAT and NCEES. These are really great partnerships that we've established uh, over, the, over the years. And then I think that there are lots of other new organizations that, that we're looking to build these relationships, both, both on the educational side, NSBE and SHIP, for example. And then also, I would say, uh, looking to, to build connections with corporations, so corporate members, uh, where we would, you know, companies like Boeing or ANSYS that are our corporate partners for us. I think this really provides a great opportunity for our members to learn more about those companies as well. And how do you hope that the members will benefit from all this? Well, one direct way that they're benefiting this year is we have a, we have a job fair for the first time. So especially graduate students uh, can come to, to come to the conference and have an opportunity to meet those employers and learn more about the opportunities that are available at those companies. And we actually talked to a lot of them yesterday, so that's a great point. Oh, wonderful. And wonderful. Um, you know, what is your best advice for those early career engineers? Oh, uh, my best advice is just get involved at ASWE. Go to conferences for all of the divisions you're interested in. Learn more about those divisions and go to their business meetings because the business meetings are where you get to meet the leaders of that division. You'll get to learn more about how the division operates. Maybe you'll even get to take on a leadership role. Maybe someday you'll get to be ASWE president. Perfect. Doug Tugod, incoming president of ASWE, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us oh, today. It's, it's been my pleasure. Thank you.